Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes, Devon Branch, and on this uh, very pleasant mid-November 2023 day, we're doing a quick video on this freshly arrived and absolutely amazing top of the range Swift Kentucky 669. So the Swift Kentucky debuted, I think, in 1984 at the Earl's Court Motorhome Show, and was the flagship motorhome from Swift, Britain's biggest caravan and motorhome manufacturer, and it has always been right at the very top of the model lineup ever since. Uh, the 669 came out in 2008, maybe 2007, and it is the flagship of the flagship range. It's the island bed tag axle model. Uh, now this particular one is from 2012, which uh, means it's on the Euro 5 cab, which is great. It also means it had the option of the 180 horsepower amazing 3 litre engine instead of the 2.3 or the one, or the 160 brake 3 litre. As it's the first year of the 180, first year of the, um, uh, of the uh, Euro 5. And this particular one also has the optional automatic gearbox, so this is definitely the one to have. So let's have a little look at it. She's an absolute beast. So it's a Swift Kentucky 669 automatic six speed. Got the island bed. This one's got the optional seat belt. So it's the four seat belt six berth because it's got the optional over cab bed. So it's like the ultimate people swallowing luxury motorhome. Based on the Fiat Ducato with the Alco chassis tag axle, six wheels uh, from Germany. Three litre, 180 horsepower. They only did that engine for two or three years. It is the absolute king of them all. Loads of torque. Surprisingly good on fuel as well. It's only done 41,000 miles. It's 8.67 metres long now, to be fair. For a seven metre van, you're going to have to park it over two parking spaces. This 8.6 will do the same. It's only 2.3 wide, three metres tall. Price is 51.95 and as always we internet price check our vans. Uh, have a look on Auto Trader. there's four of these for sale. Ours is better value than any other one. You can't buy another one this age, this price and it's also better spec as well because I couldn't see another one with a 3 litre, 180 horsepower automatic engine combo. So walking around the outside, 2012 model year was also the year that the silver cab arrived. Looks much more modern, I think, than the old white cab ones. We got six 16-inch alloys um, with uh, um, alloys, <laughs> basically. Uh, we got some chrome mirror guards over the top of the original wing mirrors. Optional over cab bed, but it's very, very sculpted. So it's a good looking van, big over cab double bed, full length factory fitted, five meter, five and a half meter awning. Got a big gas bottle locker, you'll fit a couple of 11 kilo refillables, um, maybe a 13 and a six kilo color gas bottle in there. Next to there, we've got a gas barbecue point, is it? Yeah, a gas barbecue point for running your gas without taking a spare gas bottle out. Fresh water fill up point, water tanks are beneath the floors. This is a double look floor, the full length of the van, so everything is boxed in inside. Uh, for insulation and stop it freezing. You can fill that up with a hose or you can just get a two pin sucker pump and pump it aboard from a container. Electric step, centrally locked, hardtail habitation door with an extra security lock on it. Flew for your Truma gas or mains electric powered blown air heating system. These are double floor full length so you're very well insulated, you won't have any problems there. We got flush fit double glazed windows. Two awning lights, not one, two awning lights, that's superb. Slight crazing on the graphics there. Now this is an island bed to the rear, so that's the bedroom window, and it's a low-ish island bed, so if you're carrying bikes, you put them on the back, either on a tow bar mounted rack or on the bike rack, but all the other chairs and tables and everything else can go back here. There's your wastewater drain, even your wastewater tanks between the floors. Um, that's loads of storage for everything apart from bikes or you could put folding bikes underneath there if you wanted to got a full width tow bar with nudge bar these will tow up to a ton so you could tow a little car on an a-frame if you want to and um, say so bike rack and a double reversing camera up high there other side of the storage area other side of the window uh, bedroom windows again alloy wheels all round you got mains hook up, leisure battery, leisure batteries maybe, I haven't checked. Deck for set toilet locker, um, vents for your three way fridge freezer, extra lounge window. You got a big, I like these beanie box style wet storage locker or 
mucky storage locker in there, slide out for all of your stuff that you don't want to keep with other stuff, like your mains cable, your toilet chems, your levelling ramps could all go in there. And then there's another underfloor storage area up here. So you've got leisure battery or leisure batteries, one or two, in that locker. And then that's underfloor storage there as well, which is really, really good. So cab spec wise, as I said, 180 horsepower range topper. These are rudely powerful with the three litre. It just delivers all this power really low down the rev range. They're lovely. All the spec you'd expect, Remis Concertina cab blinds. Lecky windows, electric mirrors, electric adjustable heated mirrors, manual fold, leather gear stick and steering wheel. You've got the new for 2012 Euro 5 black dash instead of the two-tone grey. you also got this really nice, which was only an option for one or two years, burr walnut um, effect dash trim, which was a really expensive option from Fiat. And I know some people think it's a bit naff, but I think it's quite nice. It really breaks it up quite well. So you've got two reversing cameras feeding into that monitor, cab blind, uh, that six-speed automatic gearbox, which is very reliable, it's very economical. I know it's not the nine-speed, but you'd have to pay double this price to get the nine-speed. A new one of these today, you're going to be paying, what, 120 grand plus? So this is good value, this. Um, front fog lights, rear fog lights, steering wheel controls for your stereo system there. We've got cruise control speed limiter. You might want to update that with a double DIN in dash unit, or you could just put a phone up there and use that instead so condition wise it's good it's been used this van but it's cheapest in the country but it's not bad it's not doggy or smoky it's solid where it counts uh, it's not been over knocked about it's fine it's not like the day it left the swift factory but then it is 11 year old so as long as you don't expect that you'll be very happy with your purchase with this one there is like the odd little sign of age like sort of just little bits of plastic lifting on the graphics and stuff but it's nothing much in fairness so coming in the habitation door, we've got fly screen door there. Nice big step with a light. Someone's put these carpets down. There is um, vinyl flooring underneath of there. It would have started life with Lutefit carpets, but I don't think they're with it anymore. But we come straight into a very, very big spacious lounge. Now, my family van is a tag axle motorhome like this. And we as a family of four would spend up to six months of the year in it and that's what you can do in this size of van and it's just a lovely lovely place to be so you've got this really nice condition velour sort of soft comfortable upholstery this area does make beds i think it's a stubble singly however you want to do it twin swivel cab seats you've got an occasional table and then there is a freestanding table that goes here as well over the cab is a massive bed. You can push this up out of the way. Use it for storage. Your ladder can go behind that zip panel there. Main sockets up here. You've got plenty of spotlights. Nice curved cabinet work with up lighters and rear speakers. Up on the roof, there is a satellite dish up there. We won't check it or guarantee it, but it does appear to be alive. Nice simple control panel. Oh, a couple of marks on that where you can see just this happens to all of these Swift control panels, just where the plastic's rubbed off. But it's all perfectly functional and we'll check it, guarantee it, warranty it. As you come in the door, uh, they've upgraded the Truma controller. It would have had round ones there, so you've upgraded it to this later digital one, which is much, much better. Um, obviously, what we'll do is we'll just cover that bit up behind it and make it look nicer. Um, Big kitchen, there's no compromise with this van really. So cracking lounge, two superb beds, big fridge freezer, that's an automatic energy selecting one, so that'll run off gas if you're not hooked up, mains if you are hooked up, 12 volt when you're driving. That's the satellite controller for the satellite on the roof. There is a terrestrial TV area as well though. Audio visual equipment, we don't check or guarantee, but it is there. So a big kitchen, full oven, three gas burners, one electric. Separate grill, separate oven, and a high-level microwave. Loads and loads of storage. I could happily live in this van full-time. We've got a hobtop extractor, concertina blinds and fly screens on all the windows. Plate storage up there. And loads of storage. You've still got your original sink cover clip on the draining board there as well. That's nice to see. Now we're up to the bedroom. Now look at this for a bedroom. This is why you buy a Contiki 669. Look at that mattress. That is so thick. 
don't know if it's original, I think it is, but it's a hell of a mattress, that. So comfy. Now you can lift up the bed and you can find really big storage underneath. So that's your lounge table, you can put it outside. Loads of storage here as well. There's a proper concertina blind to come across there to separate your bedroom. You've got rear speakers off the cab stereo, but you'd probably be hooking a TV up to there and just listening to the radio on that or whatever. I even take my Alexa when I'm away, just hotspot it off my phone and then uh, Bob's your uncle for listening to music. Really nice and light van. We've got plug sockets for phone chargers, light switches down there. More storage cupboard, little vanity unit for the lady or the gentleman about town. I like the way they've built in these shelving units on top there for more storage. Hers and hers wardrobes either side of the bed. Two high level cupboards and a big opening hecky roof light back there as well as storage underneath both of them. It's actually in really good condition, it has been used. You see things like um, light scratching on there. The hob has been used to boil kettles. It's normal use, it's 11 year old. And it's 51.95 for a van that would cost you 120, 130 new today. It's a hell of a thing for someone, it really is. Internet price check, it is the cheapest in the country. And once this hits YouTube and Auto Trader, it won't hang around, I would surmise. So, it's a beautiful 2012 Euro 5 3 litre 180 horsepower Swift Contiki 669 six wheel island bed five ton. So, you will need a C1 license luxury motorhome with a bathroom that we forgot to show. So, it's got a bathroom, yes, that is definitely a bathroom with a good size separate shower to be fair storage storage and um nice up lighters and an opening skylight with a thick set toilet so it's got a bathroom in this swift contiki 669 so give us a ring as soon as you can if you're interested it's 51995 give us a call 01626 832792 if we're out here doing videos um call us on the mobile 07432 662558 um, check us out at the highbridgecaravans.co.uk website or come and see us at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon branch not Somerset it's the Devon branch New and Abbott Devon between Exeter and Plymouth on the A38 South Devon Expressway and ask us about this marvellous Swift Contiki 669 thank you very much goodbye